Hey, well, <laughs> welcome to St. Croix Valley Trees. A place where we think you can have a fun experience. You can get a tree and then have some fun. The best tree in the state. Oh, well. Uh, Maybe two states. But the fun really is the people that come and they bring a big smile. They bring their grandkids sometimes. They bring their great grand grandkids. Grandparents sometimes. They bring their dogs sometimes. And they're the ones that bring the Christmas cheer. And it's just overflowing because they're here. And we try to offer the things that they find kind of fun or interesting. You're going to sell Christmas, not just a tree. And I caught that right away as something that I thought was very, very important that maybe we could do. And yeah, we do sell the trees, but I have always thought that we give people another reason to come. And I think that's kind of our trademark. And this is, I think, the crown jewel of what's here for kids to enjoy. I think it's called a magic castle. It's got all kinds of hidden places, things to look out. It's just amazing. And it's all designed and built by Sean. And it evolved from originally a straw mountain which was just straw which Paul added on to year after year and then Sean decided that we needed something a little more permanent when he said a little more permanent this is what turned into more than a little more but it also had help from a, a neighbor uh, David <laughs> yeah and I can't pronounce his last name Archer but he's a very creative yes. person yeah. and Bruce Martell and um, yeah but that took an entire summer to build we turned him loose on this <laughs> what's kind of cool is we have two granddaughters living within a mile and they have children so now we have great granddaughters and they come over here to play and I'm pretty sure they think of this as their play castle Father Elf used to be a beautiful white pine over there behind the barn. And when the tree died, Paul decided that we were going to use it for something. And there is someone who does beautiful chain art, chainsaw art, and he did this. And these were two branches that were the tree. And it is sturdy enough, and we get anywhere from children to young adults sitting here. Uh, this is not a toy. It's my dad's first tractor and he bought it in the same year I was born. As you can see, it is in a lot better shape than I am. That it's must still, have been 1838? Yeah, it still <laughs> runs and it's, it's not home. Home was on a farm in Austin, Minnesota. <laughs> 
and this was a serious purchase. This was his tractor for farming for many years. Looked small, but he would sit on there for hours on hours doing farm work. And I would sometimes run behind it, easy to keep up. And now, of course, it's here for kids to sit on. There's a little bit of story behind this stone house. Paul and I have been very fortunate to be able to travel, um, especially once we were both retired. And we have been in many places in Europe. And in Germany, where Paul's family is from, fell in love with these stone cottages, their homes, with slate roofs. So Paul decided he was going to have one. He gathered the stones from uh, limestone, limestone quarry. quarry, built it all himself. Cement shingles. We don't have slate shingles, but we have cement. We don't have slate shingles because even though they're beautiful, Paul thought we would import them. And I said, no way. We're not paying for slate to be shipped here. And these were fence, fence posts. Paul these made these. these are we took a <laughs> class to be able to figure out how to make these. That was fun. I had dreams of becoming um, Tiffany. Didn't happen. All right. These boards were from my dad's machine shed, which housed that tractor, which we just discussed. <laughs> machine shed was falling down, and I saved a few boards to bring up here. These are just treasures we've gathered over time. Nothing fits together, so it's either called funky or eclectic. So now it um, features some snacks and some goodies. Hot chocolate here. That people can yes. enjoy. And the beams, Paul's vision was, after we'd been to the Renaissance Festival over in Chocopee, and there were troubadours sitting on beams in a, in a roof like this playing music and Paul decided that's what we would have up there. But since neither he nor I are musical, that part didn't happen. This is the elves bunkhouse. Paul had seen a picture in a magazine and thought it looked really cool. So when that happens, he decides he's going to build it. And it took him a couple years to get all the beams done because they all had to be put together and then bent. And at this time, the po focus, the purpose is kids just get to look in. Be happy to see you. We're looking forward to uh, Christmas season with joining in with a lot of neighbors and people that we've seen before and maybe some new people. Thank you. So come and join us here and have a wonderful Christmas.